everyone belongs. Have I got a story to share with you? One about sisters named Macy and True. It's a tale of two girls and one fabulous show. And you are invited, so come on, let's go. Macy is the older sister of the two. She leads by example, as the eldest will do. She shows up bravely, exactly as she is. An inspiration to all, a magnificent kid. Though True is taller, she's the younger one. She's bold and confident, getting stuff done. True loves meeting new people, making a pal. She's the world-changing type, a powerful gal. Macy and True are unalike, as you see. But they know that different is a great thing to be. The sisters both wanted to glitter and glow, and together declared, we will shine in a show. The girls made their way to the stage in the park. There was much to be done, tasks on which to embark. With their arms full of tutus, capes, wigs, and a mic, they soon caught the eye of a kid on his bike. The boy named Lamar walked close to the stage and the singing sisters looked up from their page. Oh, hi, I'm Macy. My sister is true. Have they got the most perfect part just for you? Lamar's eyes looked delighted, but then they turned sad, and he wrote something on an electric notepad. Singing is not something I do. You see, I use this device. Is there still room for me? Drew tossed him a ribbon, so shiny and thick. Exactly who you are is exactly who we pick. We know everyone's different. No two are the same. You belong in our show, the sisters exclaimed. Lamar jumped on the stage, ribbon high in the air. Then Nova appeared, showing style and flair. She wore fancy sunglasses and held a white cane. What's going on here? She asked, bold and plain. We're doing a show. Want to help us? Asked Drew. But I can't see the stage. I need help from you two. Of course. Take our hands, the sisters announced. You still have a role. You can sing, twirl, or bounce. Macy gave her a tutu. This should do the trick. Exactly who you are is exactly who we pick. We know everyone's different. No two are the same. You belong in our show, the sisters exclaimed. Now all the commotion was drawing a crowd. So many kids wondered if they were allowed to join in the show and be part of this thing. What if someone felt shy or did not like to sing? As more people gathered, Drew looked at each face. We're so happy you're here. You're in the right place. We need all of you friends to help with this show. Everyone belongs here. I hope that you know. Macy stood by her sister and nodded her head. Excitement was growing and starting to spread. Yet some kids felt anxious, unsure where to go. Many wondered out loud 
how can I help the show? You can sing, you can shout, you can whistle or snap, you can dance, you can twirl, you can hum, you can flap. Don't like the attention? Then come on backstage. There are plenty of ways for you to engage. The growing crowd of kids leaped up to help out. With glitter and tool, they all bustled about. If each played their part, doing what they did best, this show would undoubtedly be a success. While True stayed quite busy with costumes and glue, pointing this way and that, telling kids what to do, Macy spotted a boy in a power wheelchair. She said to her sis, what's his name over there? True knew him from school. Oh, his name is Shep. Then she noticed no ramp, only step after step. While the show could go on without Shep and his chair, she knew leaving out others is not kind and not fair. True looked at the stage and her beautiful set. Her friend turned his chair, eyes filled with regret. True knew what it felt like when she was left out. We all want to belong, she knew without doubt. But cardboard and tutus and glitter and glue could not build a ramp. This just would not do. The group became quiet. No one made a sound. The space is the problem, not how he gets around. Hey, Shep. True called out, come over here quick. Exactly who you are is exactly who we pick. We know you belong in this show we are showing. So we move it to you. Everyone, let's get going. The kids in the show gathered up all their props, all the costumes and ribbons, the tutus and tops. They filled cardboard boxes with glitter and tape, and they ran up to Shep, a new plan taking shape. Macy, True, and the crew then started to swarm, creating a new stage where all could perform. Shep watched the kids working. No two were alike. Then he whispered, wow as True gave him the mic. Shep moved center stage, knowing just what to do. Get in your places, it's time, shouted True. You are spectacular, just as you are. This is your show and you are a star. So there you have it, two girls and a show providing a way for each kid to glow. An invitation for you to sing out your song as you make a space where everyone can belong. The end.